This is a rerun of the installation process by taking my, uh, a model from D DB Designer Fork, which we've created visually using the table tools and the relationship tools, and putting it onto the server. So I've got my model. I'm going to create my script, which is done very easily, and it's just a reminder for you. Make sure you've got SQL Server selected, because that's really important, and copy your script to the clipboard. It's now on the clipboard. We can actually just close this dialog down. And I usually save my model just in case anything gets a little bit skew if as we go through. We're going into SQL Server Management Studio and I'm expanding the tree databases. I right click for a new database. I'm calling this database College. and I click OK and the database is created on the server. OK, I right click my database when I find it in the tree. The navigation tree expands, college is there, and you right click and put new query. Now remember we've got a script copied onto the clipboard, so I just paste that into the editor window, which is the one on the, on the right hand side there, and you'll see the DDL, the data definition language, which is created on the right hand side. I run my script and I get completed successfully. If we check in the tree and go to tables, we'll see that the, uh, the tables have now been added. We're ready to start to create our application in Visual Studio Lite Switch. OK, what we have to do is we have to do these steps in order. And they're very straightforward. Open the Visual Studio, select Lightroom, create the application, connect to the server, attach a database, and select tables. Really easy. I'll go through them step by step now. First we start by opening Visual Studio and the default screens will open. The, uh, the navigation panel is very straightforward. What we need to do is we need to choose a light switch application in C Sharp as our chosen application choice. We give it a meaningful name and we store it in a place that we know we're going to be able to get to later. I've just called it college, uh, straightforward enough, and I'm browsing into a storage place, so I'm going to store it there, and I just click OK, and the application will be created. This can take some time depending on the speed of your machine. I've actually edited out the weights. So here it is, Light Switch has created an application, and that's how it opens when you first see it. Look in the middle there. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the data and we're going to attach to an external data source. So when we do that, what we're going to do is go and look for our server by selecting database, and we're going to choose which database in our server we want to use. Now on my database, it's very busy and there's lots of, uh, of different uh, databases on my server, so I'm going to choose my server first, and once again I've edited some of the weights out on this so that it appears quicker. So I'm going to use my SQL Express, I choose which database I want to use. I'm going to pick college, of course. And I now test my connection. I could click OK straight away, and it would all work, I'm sure, quite well. But let's just test the connection to make sure that it's actually going to work. Yes, we've got a good connection. So I can now click OK and create the light switch application. So it's retrieved all the data information from the server, and it knows which tables are on my database now. And so I can now choose which ones I want to use. I don't have to select them all. I might want an application that just uses a selection of tables. But in this case, I'm going to choose all of them. There's all my tables selected. And that's OK. Click Finish. And my light switch application will be created once again. This is a speeded up version because there will be waits while processes are carried out. The old uh, progress thing will be busy. There's my light switch application. My tables are connected and attached to my, data, my, my, my application. And then we'll work from here and develop our app.